Okay, in our last video, we downloaded two models. I put them in, I have a projects folder and then 3D print. And then the first one was Corgi in bed. And that's this one, right? Right, that little guy. And the second one is all of the, it's a zip file, which is a container file that contains all of the parts of that other more complex Corgi, right? So just real quick, I'm going to unzip this. And then once I check this and make sure I'm happy with this, the files are in here. Right. Okay. Then great. I can just delete that. So I'm just going to move this to trash. Okay. Great. So, um, so I have all the files for all the, like the harness and all that complexity. So great. I'm going to come in here and we're going to load. I'll show you the most basic thing, which is to load the Corgi in bed. So you're going to get a piece of software that looks like this. Um, it may have a, it may be branded with an Ender 3 on it, but it's a, it's called Ultimaker Cura. And um, I have selected, this is the printer I have at home. This is the printer you have at home. Um, then we're going to come in here and select the kind of filament. So um, if you just, if you got PLA plus, then you can just do PLA plus. Don't worry about the color. That doesn't really, that's just for visual purposes. But you could use PLA. If you've got regular PLA, um, at Micro Center, then just pick PLA like we have here. And your nozzle, the default nozzle size is 0.4. That's probably not going to change. Then the other thing that you want to change, you want to look at is quality. I would leave all these default. I print at 0.2 all the time. The infill, I wouldn't go higher than 30 um, or more. And I'll show you what infill is in a second, but that's the amount of space. When you 3D print, you don't print a solid model. You print a sort of pattern on the inside and um, depending on how fast you want to print, the thicker that pattern on the inside is, the longer the print will take. So leave all these at, at defaults. So we have our printer, we have our material that we're going to print with, and we have the quality level. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to load that model and then create the actual print file. So let us let me go back and I want to show you. Um, the model is in a format called STL. And all that is, is that's a 3D file format, like in the same thing that you have a doc file or uh, an MP3 for music. This is a, a universal way of um, moving 3D objects. The, an STL is just the shell on the outside. It does not describe anything on the inside. It's just, a, a, it's just the outer shell of an object. And so when you come in here under the Rocket Corgi and you look at all the files here, these are also STLs. And when we look at the three-dimensional Corgi, you can see that it's always solid, right? Because it's the outer shell. There's, it, there's no descriptive information on the inside. So there's the other part of it. There's no descriptive information on the inside. It's just always the outer shell of the model. So let's come in here and we're going to load up. So I'm gonna, we're going to open files. And we're going to go to projects. We're going to go to our 3D printer. We're going to go to our Corgi in a bed. And we're going to load this model up. And notice this model is like, right so it's not it's sort of standing on edge right well the nice thing about cura is um it'll load it up and i don't know that you can see that little dot i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to use my scroll mouse and i'm going to uh zoom into the file so look how tiny 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 that thing is we do not we want that thing to be much much bigger right so i'm going to bring it out i'm going to grab this and I have this set to uniform scaling, which is default. I have not changed anything. And I'm just going to kind of make it bigger. But notice how it's starting to disappear below the print bed. What happens when I let go is it'll recalculate the size, and then it'll put it on top of the print bed. So watch. I'm going to let go. And look how it just popped right up on the print bed. Let's see if I can show you. So sometimes you will get models that will move um, like this way, let's see if I can get this thing to drop below. Okay, so if I tried to print this as an example, it would it would only print to the print bed. It would not print below that. And there should be a button here when I click this model. Um, there, I'm just gonna hit um, the undo button. Okay, all right, where? All right. Oh, it disappeared. So let me start a new project. I, I don't use this software very much, so forgive me if I don't know how to do this very well. All right, so click on there. We got our little tiny, tiny thing. We'll load up here in a second. Boom, there's a little tiny, tiny thing. We're going to select a little tiny thing, and we're going to enlarge it. Oh, that's movement. 
Let's come back over here and select a large. We're going to grab it and enlarge it to make it big enough that we can see it. Okay, perfect. Now, let me zoom in. Let me tilt the camera. So I'm zooming in using the scroll button and I'm tilting and moving around using the right mouse button and the uh, left mouse button selects. So if you see right here, this is just the model. It's not, you'll see this button says slice. We gotta then convert it. This is like a print driver. You're gonna take the file like a Word doc and you're gonna hit print. And now, hold on, let me make that this thing disappear. Now you're going to slice it. And so what it's doing is while well, it's calculating based on the Ender 3, the generic PLA, that's the temperature and the size of the of each of the layers. I mean, I mean the size of the nozzle and then the size of each of the layers. It will create the print file. And so let's preview that so you can see what you're looking at. Okay. So to create a so this is the actual file. I'm going to tilt this so you can see it better and zoom in. So now you can see the different layers of the printer. The first thing you see is you're going to see three bands around the outside, and that just cleans the nozzle and makes sure nothing else is sticking to it. So you want to keep that. It's not a raft. It's a skirt is what they call it, I believe. So you want to make sure that that is, um, that is uh, printing. So that's good. Then this is the 3D print itself, and you can see if we scroll down, there, there are 83 layers high. And if we start rolling down, you'll see the inside. And remember how I talked about the infill being 20%? That's what this little pattern is. And it's filling it, and you can choose to make it thicker, thicker meaning stronger potentially, or heavier. And for 20% is going to do, for most models, you can even get let down with less. But 20 use the defaults right now until you get more comfortable. But you can see those are the bottom layers. We first print, that's the first layer, and then the second layer, and then it turns into a hollow model, and we're going to fill that with infill. And then we're printing, 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 printing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save. We're just going to save this. So let's see. I'm going to save to file. I don't have a removal disk installed, so that's why I don't want to remove it. You would normally save this to your card. But I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to Projects, 3D Printer, and I like to save them in the folder that I created it in so that if I ever need to come back to it later, I've got the print file. So notice that the model file was SLT and the print file is G code. So what I also like to do is I like to tell them what... So I like to... I'll put other information in here like if I print two at a time, I'll do like 2x or something like that. And that just gives me a little bit more information. So I'm going to hit save. And that file, so let's just open the folder. This print file here is the file. So this is the 3D model file, right? You can't print that without going through the through the process of, of creating it for your printer. This is the file you would put on the card, stick in the printer, and load it up in the printer to print. And this is the instructions that tell the printer what to do. Okay. So that's how to create a simple print file.